हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सेकंड न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ एवरेज स्पीड नाउ क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एज द रिजल्ट ऑफ अ स्टडी इज गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल हियर द स्पीड रेंज इज गिवन दैट इज 2 to 5 6 to 9 10 to 13 and 14 to 17 and in the next column frequency is given as 1 4 0 7 now we have to calculate the time mean speed and space mean speed now for solving this numerical we have to determine the mid values so it will be equals to 3.5 7.5 and 11.5 similarly the frequency is given in the question that is 1 4 0 and 7 now sum of all frequencies will be equals to 12 now we have to determine the value of mid value into frequency now after multiplying 3.5 into 1 it will be equals to 3.5 7.5 into 4 it will be equals to 30 11.5 into 0 it will be equals to 0 And fifteen point five into seven, it will be equals to one zero eight point five. Now the sum of all these values will be equals to one forty two. Now we have to determine the time mean speed for which the formula is summation of mid value into frequency upon summation of frequency. now summation of mid value into frequency it will be equals to 142 so we will write here 142 divided by sum of frequency will be equals to 12 which is shown here so it will be equals to 12 now from this after solving this value we will have the time mean speed equals to 11.83 km per hour now we have to determine the space mean speed for which the formula is summation of all the frequencies divided by the frequency of each individual term divided by the mid value so we can write it as summation of all the frequency upon mid value now we will put the value one by one here the summation of frequency value will be equals to 12 which we had already determined now the first frequency is given as 1 and the mid value is 3.5 the second frequency is 4 and the mid value is 7.5 similarly the next frequency is 0 and the mid value is 11.5 and the last one is 7 and the mid value is 15.5 now after solving this we will have the space mean speed equals to 9.44 km per hour that is the space mean speed so we had determined the value of space mean speed as well as the time mean speed that is all about this numerical thank you very much students